So let's create a basic cinematic sequence in Unreal Engine 4. First we'll set up two static camera shots that we will then cut between in our matinee sequence. You can drag a camera out from the place tab, but I find it easier to line up the viewport on the shot that I want, and then from the viewport options menu, I choose create camera here. With a camera selected, you get this little visualization of the camera view. You can then zoom out a bit in the viewport and adjust the position of the camera using the move tool. It's a good idea to rename your camera act as something meaningful so that when you have lots of cameras in your scene it's easy to tell what each is for. To do that just click on the camera name in the scene outliner. So then we'll just repeat that process to set up our second shot. Now we create a matinee actor that, and that's going to hold our cinematic sequence. To do that, click on the matinee button and choose add matinee. The matinee editor will then open. Before we look at what you can do in here, let's minimize the matinee editor and look at what the matinee actor looks like in the scene. It's represented by this little clapperboard icon here. It doesn't matter where this is positioned and you don't see this icon when you're playing the game. So let's set the matinee actor to play when the level loads and you do that by first selecting the matinee actor in the scene outliner and then going to the matinee details panel and selecting this checkbox next to play on level load. You could also write a script in the level blueprint to play a matinee or you could trigger it through player actions but for now play on level load is fine. To add our first camera to the matinee we have to select the camera and with it selected go back into the matinee editor. Now right click on the blank track area and choose create new camera group and give it a name. I'm going to call mine shot 1. Minimize the matinee editor again and now select the second camera and repeat that process. Once you have created your camera groups, you can check which actor any of your camera groups are attached to by right clicking on the group name and then looking under actor. The name of the attached actor appears here. The next step is to create a director group so that we can cut between the two cameras. To do that we need to right click in the blank area of the track panel and choose create new director group. To add our two cameras to the director group, we need to place keyframes where we want the camera shots to begin. I want the first camera to start from the beginning of the sequence, so I'll position the black playback head here at the beginning of my sequence. And, making sure that I have the director track highlighted, click Add Keyframe. I then choose Shot 1 and click OK. These little red triangles at the bottom of the timeline set how long the cinematic sequence will be. The numbers that you see here are seconds. Let's click and drag the end point to extend the time of the sequence to 6 seconds. The green triangles here set the loop point for when you're creating a looping sequence. You don't need to move them but it makes the screen less busy if they line up with the others so I'm going to move them to match. Now let's add another keyframe in the director track at 3 seconds and at this keyframe we're going to cut to our second camera shot. To do that, position the black playback head at the 3 second mark and make sure that the director track is highlighted. This time use the shortcut key for adding a keyframe which is the enter key. Now select the second camera and click on OK. Close the matinee editor and then in the level editor select play to play the level and have a look at what our matinee sequence looks like. So that's how you create and cut between static camera shots. But you could also create camera zooms and camera movements like tracks or pans. So let's have a go at creating those now. Open the matinee editor back up by either clicking here in the details panel or by choosing your matinee actor from the drop down menu that you find off the matinee button in the toolbar. To add a zoom to our first shot we need to add keyframes to the camera group FOV or field of view track. So select the FOV track of the first shot. Then with the playback head at zero press enter to add a keyframe at the start of the FOV track. And clicking at around the 2.5 second mark to put the playback head there 
Press Enter to add a keyframe. Now right click on that keyframe to bring up the keyframe menu. By the way, you can do this on any keyframe within Matinee. Choose Set Value and type in a different field of view angle number. You have a range from 5 to 170. A lower number is a closer shot and a higher number is a wider shot. So when the matinee plays, it's going to zoom between the two field of view values of these two keyframes. It will start here with a field of view angle of 90 and zoom in to end up at a field of view angle of 25. Now note that I set the second keyframe half a second before the cut here and I did that so that there was a moment of stillness before the cut. To add a tracking movement to the second shot, we will need to add keyframes to its movement track. So select the movement track of the second shot. And I'm again going to leave a moment of pause at the beginning here by creating a keyframe at 350. That keyframe is the point at which the tracking movement will start. Now create an ending keyframe for the tracking movement at 550. And with that keyframe selected, notice the red record text and dot here. This means that you're in keyframe record mode. When you're in keyframe record mode, any changes that you make to your camera actors in the scene get recorded to that keyframe. So minimize the matinee editor and move your second camera up to create tracking movement. Now close the matinee editor, save all and play your finished sequence.